Well, moving here was not something that we had expected or planned on doing. So I actually was just praying one morning and I asked God, I don't know if you're going to take care of our kids. I'm, I'm concerned and I'm worried. We decided to look into different educational opportunities and we came across, we stumbled across rather, um, classical Christian education. It frankly blew my mind. When I heard the, the theory and the practicums that, that are associated with it, I knew it was what our child wanted. I decided to go online and look up if there were any classical schools in the Tri-Cities. And lo and behold, there was one starting for just the second grade when I looked it up online. And our daughter was going into exactly the second grade. And I felt like I was saying, I'm going to take care of your kids. All parents want their children to flourish, to thrive. We greatly desire for the children here to know what it means to be fully human, body and soul. We want them to be worshipers in all that they do and to know how to take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. We begin and end every day with scripture because it is God's rule of truth in all things. Coram Deo is a full-time Christian classical day school. We currently teach classes for students in kindergarten through third grade, but are actively seeking to grow, so we're going to add a fourth and fifth grade class this year. Classical education is very interested in integration. Our goal is to train students to see all subjects under the sun from a Christian perspective, because there is no subject outside of Jesus Christ's world. Modern educational theory it's very disconnected, like a jar of marbles or subjects unrelated to each other. But when all things are studied under the presupposition of the Lordship of Christ in all things, you do have a whole. You have a unified understanding of the world from that platform. So we study languages because God has communicated with us through words. We study math because our God is a God of order. We study science because God has revealed himself in nature. And in fact, the great advances in science and invention in the past 300 years have all been born from a Christian world and life view. Our goal is to train students to see all subjects under the sun from a Christian perspective using a time-tested three-stage model of instruction called the Trivium. The classical Christian education recognizes the various or the different developmental stages in a child's learning life. Formally, we talk about them as grammar, logic, rhetoric. The grammar stage is the, the, is the age of knowledge, which is the age of elementary. In that initial stage, children love to learn, love to memorize. So we, we provide them with many different kinds of facts. Facts of grammar, facts of science, facts of language, uh, facts of history. They memorize that, uh, and that's the stress during that particular time of their life. The logic stage is the junior high age, the age of questioning, the age of understanding what it is that you've learned and how it plays a part in the world and in life. And then the last stage is the high school age, which is the age of wisdom. And understanding wisdom as the application of your understanding of the knowledge that you gained. In each of these stages, we place a strong emphasis on classical language and history and literature. Without these disciplines, you, you don't have a classical education. So we want to teach in this historic educational model. We teach them the history of Western civilization, which is our history and its ideas by giving them source material and ultimately the tools they need to explore these ideas for themselves. Understanding our history is critical to being able to lead our culture. They know the source, they know where it started from. They can therefore, when they start to go into those logic years, be very creative and innovative in their thoughts, their ideas, instead of just memorize, take a test, walk away. 
Noelle in the classical school, she's going to be able to use it throughout her life and probably remember a lot more than I remembered. It's just really amazing what kids at this age, it's the, the grammar stage of the classical education. Their minds are like sponges. They can, they can they pick up on so much more than you think they can, so they're memorizing a lot. Um, for science, we do a lot of chanting, so um, they know, you know the definition of a bird, so I can say, class, what is a bird? And they all just at the tip of their tongue. God created birds as warm-blooded, two-legged, egg-laying, vertebrates. I'd say my goal as a kindergarten and first grade teacher um, is really to get them to listen well and respect their second, third, fourth, fifth grade teacher so that they're ready to learn and memorize and keep going with the grammar stage of their education. What I realized was that the average graduate of a classical Christian school was three grade levels ab above the, the national norm. And then add to that the family <clears throat> environment. You have a package that I think if people really understood, they'd say, this is what I want. When I talk to my oldest granddaughter, she just loves to come to school. I don't see that today. The question I had to ask myself when deciding on educational options for my children was, why a classroom? Why not take classes online? But my wife and I decided that nothing will ever replace, honestly, the transformation that happens in a student when he is face to face, shoulder to shoulder, with a healthy community outside of himself. I knew before I put my son in kindergarten that he would thrive in a classical school. I knew it. We placed him in a classical school in Spokane, and after six months of being there, we were absolutely delighted with the fruit. Because between all the interaction and taking correction from the teachers, he honestly, I think, grew another two feet in every way except physically. This experience created a tremendous passion in us to establish a classical school here in the Tri-Cities. But educating our children is not just about training the mind. While we do strive for academic excellence, we also seek to raise our students up to be humble servants of God's kingdom. Noelle is examining her heart in ways that I didn't know any seven-year-old could do. Coming home and saying, Mom, I thought this about this person. I don't want to do that. I want to do godly things. It's been very humbling for me to see her really examine her own heart and desire to be godly. And I really feel like God's presence is residing in this school, and it's a beautiful thing. I, I think sometimes we think that the education is just about the mind. And what differentiates the classical Christian education is that the education is not just about the mind, it's about the whole person. Our school is small, we're really excited about what God is doing here at Corondeo Academy and so we would encourage the parents to jump on board while your kids are young and we would also ask that you just continue to explore the rest of the website. We would love to have you join us.